with all the celebrations that we uh, go to and everything that we're a part of and our families and other things, that this is the most magical time of year. Now you say, magical? Well, yes, think about it. God's goodness, his grace and his mercy show us that there's something that's more than just what we can see and hear. It's supernatural. And so we've come together tonight to celebrate the greatest Christmas present. So we want you to sing and to join in and rejoice with us tonight as we present this. Now about that time, Caesar Augustus ordered that the first census be taken throughout the empire. Everyone had to travel to the hometown of their family to complete the census. So Joseph and his wife Mary left Nazareth, a village in Galilee, a journey to their hometown in Judea, to the village of Bethlehem, King David's ancient home. They were required to register there since they were both direct descendants of David. You know the song, sing this joy in the world, amen? Joy to the world.
Yeah. 
Nothing to write home about. The sky was ordinary with stars twinkling, twinkling in the distance. The moon was ordinary with clouds just floating by. <coughs> Everything was swallowed up by the dark, quiet, plain, and ordinary night. It was just as ordinary a night as you can get. There were ordinary sheep and ordinary sleepy shepherds. But, but it were it not for a God who loves to hook an extra on the front of the ordinary, it would have just remained an ordinary night. Those shepherds, they just might have slept the night away. For suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared in radiant splendor before them, lighting up the field with the blazing glory of God, and the shepherds were terrified. But the angel reassured them, saying, don't be afraid, for I have come to bring you good news, the most joyous news the world has ever heard. And it is for everyone, everywhere. For today in Bethlehem, the Savior was born to you. He is Messiah, the Lord.
It was an ordinary night, really. Nothing to write home about. The sky was. Did I think it was. Alright. Then, all at once, in the night sky, a vast number of glorious angels appeared. The very armies of heaven. And they all praised God, singing, Glory to God in the highest realms of heaven, where there is peace and a good hope given to the sons of men. Yeah. You see, the long-awaited Messiah had entered into the realms of men. And now, so that he would bring us the reconciliation that we needed with the Heavenly Father so desperately.
choir of angels disappeared and returned to heaven. The shepherds said to one another, let's go. Let's hurry and see this word who was born in Bethlehem. See for ourselves what the Lord has revealed to us. So they hurried off and found their way to Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby, lying in a feeding trough. Upon seeing this miraculous sign, the shepherds recounted what, they, what had just happened. And everyone who heard the shepherd's story was astonished at what they were told. <laughs> Amen. 
to let this money be used to, to build your kingdom through these singers tonight. Let this money be used to help them in their ministry to further on to see souls saved and lives changed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This will be for all Ask me not to preach very long. <laughs> you know, it's like asking for a half a sandwich. You know, it just don't work. But I'll do my best. How's that? You know, I'm gonna, I brought my Bible with me, and I imagine that. I brought my Bible to church. How many of you bring your Bibles to church? Come on. You need to, amen. You need to. Y'all feel like shouting tonight. Hey, why don't you? You know, that's where I'm at with it. Why ain't we praising the Lord like we ought to? Come on. Come on. You know, we're going to be over here in Luke. We're going to be in Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 34. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just in the mount waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. The thing that you need to see is that the Holy Ghost was upon that man. Amen. You know, he was on fire for God. He was a priest. <laughs> Amen. Are you hearing me tonight? Yeah. He was a priest. Thank you, Lord. Bless you. Let me tell you something. The Holy Ghost needs to be on every one of us. Amen. Amen. You need to allow the Holy Ghost to be the Holy Ghost in you. Come on. In you. It ain't, it ain't about everything around you. It's about you and in your walk with God. Amen. He's way up there. He's running for cover. I'm going to tell you something. You need, to, you need to feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on. We talk about the Holy Ghost. We talk about God. We talk about Jesus. We need the Holy Ghost outside. Amen. You need to feel the power of the Holy yes. Ghost. Yes. Glory. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the way you yes. are. Amen. You know, so many people say and worry about what old Joe over here thinks about you. Oh, <laughs> just, I just used that name. I could have used Jack or Fred, but there's probably one of them in here too. But, but you know, we worry about what everybody else thinks. That's it. Amen. It ain't about everybody else. Amen. It's about you and your walk with God. Amen. It's about you building a church. Amen. Amen. Yes, <laughs> Lord. Give me another dollar. <laughs> but it's the truth. We worry about everything else. We don't worry about ourselves. Let me tell you something. It's my soul that's going to go to hell. It's your soul that's going to go to hell. You need to worry about your soul, amen? That's right. That's right. That's right. Leave me alone. Let me tell you something. Jesus. It's all about the gift. And the greatest gift of all is that Holy Spirit that God left, brought down here to put in you, amen? Yes. That's your ticket home. That's your ticket home. There ain't no other way. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's right. And only through me, only through the Father, only through me can you get to the Father. Amen. 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 You know, I just about messed that up. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's all about that Holy Ghost that lives in you. It's entangled with your spirit. And then verse 26 says, And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. He was a witness for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. We need to be a witness for Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. Come on. You need to be a witness for Jesus. That's right. And that's exactly what this man was. And he came by the Spirit. It was by the Spirit into the temple. Let me tell you something. When you come to church, what do you come by? You need to come by the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. You need yeah. to come by the Spirit. Glory. Hallelujah. Into the temple. And when the parents brought into the child Jesus to do for him and after the custom of the law. Then took he up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen what? My salvation. Oh, that's your salvation. Yes. It's all about the salvation you're going to get. It's all about your relationship. Come on. Yes. Hallelujah. Too many people today. 
water now. Mm -hmm. The gospel. Come on. Woo! How many people today don't want to preach about the Lord the way he needs to be preached to God? Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, you need to feel the power of God. Amen. You need, need to not talk about the power of God. You need to feel the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. You need to jump. You need to shake. You might Glory. need to run a little. You know what I'm saying? Glory. But you Hallelujah. see, when you leave the Holy Ghost outside, and you don't allow it to be everything it can be in you. That's right. I told these people last evening, after church, I might need somebody to help me get to the car. <laughs> right now, I'm feeling pretty good. You know what I mean? But just as soon as this preaching's over, I'm going to slow up. You know what I mean? I'm getting old. How many of you know I'm getting old? <laughs> what? Where was that echo back here? Throw that man out. <laughs> uh, I think I know him. I think I know him. Well, come on up here, brother. You don't have to sit in the back row. You see who's back here, don't you? You didn't call it out. You see who's back here, don't you? Come on up here, brother. Oh, I'm all right. He's scared. I'm telling you, he's scared. I was formerly mad. He's scared. Verse 28 says, Then took you up in his arms, blessed God, and said, Lord, now let us now, servant, depart. I've already said this, I know this. But he departed. He departed according to what God wanted him to do. Let me tell you something. It's all about what God wants you to do. Amen. It's all about you. salvation which thou hast prepared with glory the face of who? All oh, people. people. Amen. All Hallelujah. people. You know, yes. too many people today want to pick and choose. Amen. Amen. They, they want to pick and choose, but it ain't that way. It's all about everyone. Amen. 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 Don't care what color you are. That's right. I don't care what you look like. Amen. Amen. You might not be as pretty as me. <laughs> <laughs> you might not have a full face like I do. <laughs> but it don't matter. You, love Jim, you know, I told people this. Mm, I say I'm a beautiful person. You believe that? <laughs> you believe that, brother? Yes, I do. Yes. You want to like me, man? I know. Yeah, you don't stand up here. I'm going to tell you something about me and old Gary. Me and brother Gary, we're beautiful. Yes. But it's about 12 inches in. Amen. It's about 12 inches in that we become beautiful. Who's going to take his sweater, though? Amen. I know I heard an echo out there somewhere. <laughs> but verse 32 says he's a light to a light to Gentiles. Who are we? Who are you? You are the Gentiles. Jesus Christ came here as a light to guide you home. Amen. Amen. But without that Holy Ghost, you ain't got nothing. Without that Holy Spirit, you ain't got nothing. He's on something tonight. <laughs> you, ever, you ever hear somebody say, that guy's crazy. That minister's crazy. <laughs> I'm hooked on something, brother. Yes. You know what it is? It's, your it's, your it's a power of God. That's what I'm hooked on. Yes. Amen. Say amen. 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 Way late, Gerald. Hey, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. But it's the truth, man. God came here to guide you home. God came here to give you everything. But it's up to you to eat. God ain't going to force it you. No, he's not going to force it. Amen. You know, I talked to Brother Joe back here. It was probably, gosh, I started out to just call him up and invite him to come. Brother Joe got to talking, and I thought, my man, this guy's going to talk all day. <laughs> I didn't know Brother Joe had it in him to talk that long. But there he was, we was talking about Jesus, man. I said, man, I gotta go out and talk to this guy. But he's he's talking about how he's witnessing to a young kid yes, about Jesus. And how he was helping that young kid to learn about Jesus. Jesus amen. Now, if you know Joe, like I know Joe, he's a little been a little rough in his day, Joe's been a little rough around the edges. I still am. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the bottom line is, 
God sent Joel to witness to that boy. Amen. You want to know why? Yes, why? Tell me. Because that boy was rough around the edges, amen? amen. And it took somebody like Joel. Come on. Tell you something. It might take somebody like you. It might take somebody like Paul out here. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. Come on. You can be a minister for Jesus. Come on. Amen. You can be a witness for Jesus. Come on. Yes. Then you know, a witness for Jesus. And you too can do this. Oh, I'm going to oh, tell you something. You, the rise and the fall is coming. The rise and the fall is coming. But the time is not here yet. Are you hearing me? The time is not here yet. That's There's right. going to be a, a lot of time for you to get out here and witness them for God. Amen. But it's going to be up to you. That's right. Come on. Yes. You can't make them. You can't make them eat. But you need to lead them to the trough. Amen. Amen. You need to be there to help them. If you ain't willing to help them, then how are they going to learn? How are they going to know? Amen. That's right. Amen. You know, I want to tell y'all something. They can a lot of people walked away when you go to tell them the truth, brother. Yeah. But you need to tell them the truth. I don't care. That's right. It's, it's yeah. more, but it ain't about being a friend. Yes, I want to be your friend, but more than anything else, I want to see you saved. I want to see you go to heaven. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Go to heaven. Amen. But Jesus Lord, said this. He said, it's speedy for me to go away. If I don't go away, the comforter cannot come. That's right. That's right. And the day of Pentecost, the comforter came down. <laughs> and it, and it, didn't it feel good? Amen. He breathed on them. You know, it was God's breath that changed these yes. people. Yes. Forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know what? God changed your life forever. That's right. That's right. You know, in fact, I start to sweat, you know, <laughs> working up a little ladder. But you know, don't bother me. Don't bother me. You know, I'm more at home when I'm preaching the word of God than I am any other time. Amen, amen. You know, I'm in what you call a different world. Amen. I'm in Jesus' world. Amen. You know, amen. that's where you need to be. Amen. amen. Yes, thank you know, I don't want to live down here anymore. Glory. I want to be led by the Spirit of God. Yeah. Amen. And that's where it's at. Amen. Right. You let Jesus lead in your life, and He'll change your life. That's Come right. On. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Glory. And you'll be happy. Yeah. Jesus, he, said, he said this, I want your joy to be full. Yeah. I want your joy to be full. Yeah. He wants you to be happy, amen? Yeah. 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 Are you happy tonight? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm stopping right by her. <laughs> but you know what? Thank you, Lord. I just want you to feel the power of God. Amen. You know, when, when you come to church, yeah, we come here tonight for a singing. But shouldn't you come to church and want to feel the power of God? Amen. Come on. Yes. Glory. Shouldn't you want to know where you're at in your walk with God? Amen. Amen. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Help us all, Lord. You know, it was for you spirit out. I woke up one day and I was old. I, I did. I was a young man. And all of a sudden, where did it go? I don't know. Take it away. It turns into it. Amen. You know, and that's how life is. Uh -huh. That's the way it is. Amen. But you know what? When you got life with Jesus, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna give me a brand new body. Amen. Hey, yo, say amen to that. A brand new body. Oh, I don't know what he's got bigger for me, young man. I might be skinny. I might actually be handsome. I doubt it. But I'm gonna get a brand new body. I'm gonna feel like a baby. I'm gonna feel changed. Amen. Why? Because they ain't gonna be changed. They are. You know that light that shines down on me ain't gonna be forever. Yes. Yes. Amen. It don't go out. Amen. It don't go out. I know. I know. I told you ten minutes. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, hey. You know I don't put a time limit on my message. Amen. I don't. I used to tell them I'd preach for 25 minutes. Ended up being a lie to him, so they told me about it. <laughs> Rock me out of the parking lot on the way to the car. We don't have a lie. It's the truth. You know, I don't, we should never put a time limit on what God has to offer. Amen. Do you think I care what time these guys get home? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Man, I don't work anymore. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> I just sleep about four miles out here. You know what I mean? My bed's already going to be. Yes, baby. Can you make a run? It ain't going to take very long. I'll be home and they'll still be driving. 
Could God be one o'clock before they get home? <laughs> you know, the way I'm preaching here tonight, I feel really good. You are good. Are y'all in a hurry? No. no. <laughs> There'd be one saying, Oh, yes, Pastor, I'm in a hurry. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> but I'm not. You know, I, I want to worship God. I want you to worship God. I want you to be full of the Holy Spirit. I want you to let the joy in you that God gives you to flow over to others. Amen. Why, why is it that we have to wait for the love of God to come at Christmas time? Come on. Sure. Why can't we love right. everybody all the, all the time? That's right. That's right. Why can't we show the love of Christ all the time? That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. We don't have to be like that. Lord, help us all, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every head bowed and every eye closed. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. I want you to think about what I said here tonight. I want you to think about where your walk with God is here tonight. Jesus. You know, there ain't nobody looking at nobody. Lord, I thank you. I'm going to ask this. Lord, Is there someone here tonight that say, Pastor, pray for me. Pray for me. I've gotten off the path. I'm not where I need to be. Thank you. And you know, the Bible says we've we got to be on the straight and narrow path. And yes, Lord. Be there yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Jesus. Amen. We need to be full of the Lord. Help us all, Lord. We need to be full of the Holy Ghost. Thank Is there you, someone Jesus. here tonight that say, Pastor, uh, pray for me. Thank you, Lord. I need thank your help. Thank you, Lord, for that hand, Lord. You know, I'm going to pray for you anyhow. Yes, and I, I'm going to offer you an altar call here Lord, tonight. Lord, thank you, Jesus. From your seats. Please be called. We don't have Lord, room up here Lord, tonight. Touch each one, Lord. Uh, touch if you want to play something, come on up here. Lord, Lord I praise you, Lord, Lord, for the family of God, Lord. Just pray it lightly. Lord, uh, I just thank you for the calling into the deep, Lord. This is my grandson. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. But as he plays something here tonight, I want you to pray. Lord, I want you to pray like you've never prayed before. Why? Yeah, because Lord, we're a country that needs prayer. Amen. More so than ever before. Amen. You say, you know, I, you may be right with God. That might be fine. But I'm going to tell you all something. You've got somebody in your family. You've got somebody that's yes. near you that don't know Jesus. Lord, help us, Jesus. And they're going to heaven. All because oh, we're not praying. Out with all because we're not thinking. All because we're not doing Jesus. our part. Yes. We're not being no witness. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Lord, we just thank for the family of God. Lord, just, just touch the hearts of the ones. Lord, help them up, Lord. The ones who trot it down, Father. God, lift them up by the Holy Spirit, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for being in camp with us, Lord. That you help us from day to day. That you put your shield around about us. Protect us all. Lord, through the storms and through the rain and through all the things that are going on in our nation. Lord, let the loving light so shine around your people, Lord. Lord, that you would call unto them, Lord, Father God. And Lord, that they make ready, Lord, while there's time, Lord, and time and more time, Lord. We know that we're living in the days, Lord, that's, Lord, there's all darkness is all around us. But Father God, we just thank you, Father God, for that marvelous light. Let that light so shine, Lord, that people are Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord, Lord Jesus. Get out closer to you, Lord Jesus. Touch. We pray to you, Lord. We give that to you, Lord, for mercy. Lord, just mercy. Walk in and help us, Lord. Take us to the Lord. Oh, everybody, Lord, thank you, Jesus. hung on the cross for that one, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Oh, bless the Lord. Thank you,